English language explorers, diving into antonyms. Hello, language learners. Welcome to our newest video in the Advanced Vocabulary series. Today, we are diving deep into the world of words, specifically focusing on antonyms. More importantly, we'll explore how they differ from synonyms. Ready to boost your English vocabulary? Let's get started. Before we start comparing, it's important to know what synonyms and antonyms are. Synonyms are words with the same or similar meanings. For example, happy, joyful, and content can all describe a positive emotional state. On the other hand, antonyms are words with opposite meanings. Like happy and sad, these two words convey contrasting emotions. Now that we understand what synonyms and antonyms are, let's highlight the differences. 1. Meaning. The most fundamental difference is in the meaning they carry. Synonyms enhance our vocabulary by providing alternatives for a word, whereas antonyms enrich our language by offering a contrast or opposition. 2. Usage. In terms of usage, Synonyms can be used in place of a word in a sentence without changing the overall meaning. Antonyms, however, alter the meaning dramatically when substituted. 3. Understanding. Grasping synonyms helps us in understanding variations in expression of similar ideas. On the contrary, knowing antonyms gives us a deeper understanding of dualities or opposites in the English language. To visualize these differences, consider these examples. For synonyms, imagine the words bright and shiny. Both could be used to describe a polished golden ring without changing the positive implication. But for antonyms, if we replace bright with dull, the sentence suggests a significantly different, less positive image of the ring. That brings us to the end of our exploration into the world of antonyms and how they contrast with synonyms. Remember, understanding both is a powerful tool to enrich your vocabulary and expression in English. We hope this video helps you in your English language learning journey. Keep exploring and we'll see you in our next video, where we'll continue this thrilling linguistic adventure. Happy learning!